I found a thing that I think is pretty neat for the casual media creator, streamer, or just a gamer who might want to have a little more versatility in the kind of microphone they use. Every media creator, musician, streamer needs an audio interface. There's plenty out there on the market right now that many people trust. A lot of people will suggest to you to buy, say, a Focusrite. But if you want the Focusrite 2i2, you need to spend about $160, which isn't really that bad for the features it has. Everybody loves it. But maybe you're somebody who wants to look into something a little less expensive. Well, you could get the Solo, but what if you need two XLR inputs? Well, that's where products like the Vault AI22 comes in. Sometimes you come across a product that just beats everybody in price, but you need to know how. There's almost nothing on the internet about this product, except for the Vault website and then a few sponsored videos from Vault. This got me curious, why? Why is this $80 interface available on Amazon from Vault Audio, which is stationed in India, only talked about on YouTube by just a couple Hindi speaking reviewers? So all of the information I found on the internet is from Hindi speaking people, which isn't going to help us over here, even though you can get this guy right now for approximately 80 bucks. That's a really good price for a two-in interface. I'd say this thing is pitting itself against products such as the Focusrite 2i2 and maybe the Behringer UMC 22. Now the 22 used to be less expensive, so I would normally suggest that, but we'll see how this one pairs up to it. This device has everything a Focusrite 2i2 has on paper, but can it hold up? Now, I'm not going to do comparisons here. I'm just going to do some tests on the Vault AI22. Since there's no real test done on this device on the internet that I can find, at least in English, I wanna put this thing through the ringer. First, we're going to just plug it in and see how well it works. Then we're going to test it on three different microphones. Very inexpensive microphones, because if you're buying an expensive microphone, maybe look into a more expensive interface. First, we'll test it on my MXL BCD-1, which is a dynamic microphone that doesn't need phantom power. Then we're gonna test it on the Behringer XM1800S. Usually these guys come in a three pack and they're pretty inexpensive, but they sound so good. Then we're gonna test on a very inexpensive condenser mic, the BM800. You can get these anywhere under many different brand names. They're just a generic condenser mic that does the job and does it well for the price. You can usually get these things under 20 bucks and sometimes 20 bucks gets you a whole kit with the arm and everything. So these are, I see a lot when you're starting out streaming or just want something that's a little bit better than the mic on your headphones. So if you're looking to stay on a budget, which is something you might be doing if you're looking into the Vault Audio AI22, then you might want to try something like the BM800. Then we're gonna test the noise floor on this thing using the 150 ohm resistor trick. And then what am I gonna do? I'm gonna tear this thing apart. We're gonna look at the components. I have no idea what I'm looking at, but I figured you might. I will also include some links in the description of all of the pictures I take on this device so that you, if you're somebody who knows a lot about electronics, can take a look at it and see if it's up to snuff. Tell me, let me know in the comments below. Say, oh, this thing is built like shit. It's gonna catch your house on fire or wow, maybe it's, really well built and this thing is actually an up and comer in the audio space. Okay, first let's take a look at what's in the box. You got a nice basic box here. It's a nice diagram of what's coming on the device. So you got two inputs, microphone, guitar, two microphones, gain control for both. It looks like it also comes with a production suite, which eh, maybe we'll test out if we have time. If not, who knows, we'll see. It's called Bitwig Studio, I've never tested that. We've got Paperwork, mm, who cares? The USB 2.0, seems kind of flimsy, not your greatest quality. I'm not gonna complain for uh, something that is just whatever, I've got a thousand of them. And then we've got our Vault AI 2.2. Oh, well, I tried to do it nicely and I just ripped it open. You know what, I think I'm a fan of that logo. It's a pretty classy logo. This thing, is built like a tank. It is heavy in the hand. Metal side panels. Looks like it could be easy to take apart. And of course, yes, we've got the two ends. 
you've got gain controls for both, you've got high Z. Your peak information is just a little dot, so that's, honestly, I don't have a lot to complain about with a device of this price when devices that are much more expensive don't seem to get done as well as, say, a PreSonus or a Complete or that new device that just came out. I forget the name of You've got your direct mix mode, so you can do direct or you can do your mix. You've got your 48 volt phantom power, which controls both. It would be nice to have that separated, but that's a feature that you don't see on higher end products anyway. Your quarter inch plug for headphones, which is then controlled separately from the monitors. Now, how do these feel? These, are, these aren't moving at all. Look at that, that doesn't move. Oh, they feel so good. Wow, this thing is just, they have put some effort into the, those don't move at all. This, oh my God, even, that barely, no, dude, this is so good. Everything looks like it was very well built. Of course, you got your line outputs. Oh, you got your, your lock, which who would use this? I guess schools, I mean, maybe, uh, and your USB 2.0 port. So basic audio interface, what, what does it do now? There's nothing crazy in the noise. The noise floor was fine. Now we're testing the MXL BCD1 Broadcast Dynamic Microphone. I think it sounds pretty darn good. You'd be hard pressed to tell me that this sounds that much different than a $160 interface that you could find somewhere else. I've done nothing in post, so this may be quiet, this may be loud, but I'm not going to change it whatsoever. I want you to hear what it records at at those levels. Now I'm talking into the Behringer Ultra Voice XM1800S. Again, this is set to the same settings. I haven't changed anything at all, and we're about 80%. I'm talking a little bit off the left to try to avoid plosives. You may not have a pop filter when you're recording. Always good to have a pop filter if you can do it, but just in case, this sounds very similar to anything else. Honestly, I don't I don't think you're gonna go wrong with this interface if you wanted to buy 80 bucks, get you a two in, two out. Awesome. It's got the power to push the microphones that you're wanting to push. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's awesome. Now we're recording into a generic BM800 condenser microphone. My settings are now around 50% gain on the interface because now we do now we do need to use the 48 volt phantom power but honestly it sounds great to me i'm actually very very surprised by this interface because it's been able to handle almost everything i've thrown at it Let's go ahead and take this thing apart and get some pictures. Um, there's only a few screws here, so let's start with the bottom. Uh, number two Phillips head will do the trick. Nice little feet being connected to the screws. I like that. It means that you're not gonna be moving this around on your table, worrying about, oh, did I just push off the foot? Where'd it go? Did it fall under the desk? Did my dog just eat it? Um, if, you, if your dog eats the feet on this guy, it's your fault. Then you're going to need Torx 20. Just four screws on each side. Did I just fucking lose it? And then 
this thing just seems is already falling apart here after getting those screws comes off this front plate this is so solid this is some high quality construction and the price is insane soldering everything i see so far is just some of the cleanest electronics i've worked with um at this sort of price point i'm always expecting somewhere to be just awful just garbage somewhere and no soldering looks great if this was done by hand it was done so very professionally the person doing this knows exactly what they're doing This is so solid. It's like kind of awesome, but then for something like what I'm doing here, it's it's good that they're on there, dude. Okay, on there. Okay, that one came out pretty easy. Okay. They have made this very solid. And honestly, it's not that crazy to uh, if you have to fix it. I don't think it'd be that hard. Um, unplug that comes right out we got everything looks really nice the LEDs all soldered in they got some glue going on here nothing crazy just keeping the LED connectors connected to the board but that is one solid machine I'll get some pictures of it and we'll uh, call it the day. So, do I suggest the Vault AI22? Yeah, why not? It's 80 bucks, it's built like a tank, it keeps up with the rest of them. I don't see any reason not to get the Vault AI22. The guys over at Vault Music Company know what they're doing. Check them out at vaultmusic.co and hopefully you'll be able to enjoy this as much as I have. I think I might just use this as my main go-to at this point because why not? I love how it looks. It has this great, I don't know if you can see, it has this great little like grain. See here. It has a great grain, looks vintage, goes with my style. Not only does this thing look great, it feels great, built great, sounds great. And it does everything you're going to need it to do. But at like almost half the price. If you're spending $80 on this or $160 on a Focusrite or another comparable brand, I say get this and then get yourself a better mic. That's just my opinion. Well, no, I hope you got a lot out of this video because I was very interested in this. Amazon and I picked up one of them turbo power subscribe buttons. I just gotta figure out how to get it installed so these these people, these nice people can can use it. Let me just try this right now. Oh, oh now look what you got and done. Oh shucks. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. Just subscribe. I <laughs> <laughs>